Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review and a demo using the In The Balm Of Your Hand palette by The Balm. If you watched my whole video, you would have seen that I recently picked this up at Target. I'm so excited to use this because I've only used the Mary Luminizer highlighter and the Bahama Mama bronzer. The eyeshadows in these are so beautiful. I don't really know what kind of look I'm going for yet, but we'll see how it turns out. I am a big believer in using a palette as a palette. I wouldn't use a palette that has blushes and highlighters in it just to use the eyeshadows. So I will be using something from every single category in this. So in the palette, these four colors here are eyeshadows. I find that this eyeshadow and this olive green one are really, really pretty eyeshadows. I really want to incorporate them in my look, but I don't know how they'd go together. I don't own any eyeshadows that are this color. I think it's a really, really beautiful, unique color. I don't know how it would go on my skin tone. I might end up doing two different looks in this video just to use that color because I think it's so beautiful. So to start off, I'm going to take this eyeshadow called Mischievous Marissa, which is this brown shade here, and I'm just going to put that in my crease and blend it out. I'm just going to use this as a very, very light transition shade because I actually want to put this color in my crease. And going over that with this shade, I'm going to focus it more in my crease. So I've just applied it really lightly there and I'm going to keep it that way and then build up the color in the crease more so just because I want it to look really blended through. And I'm just going to use my finger to pack that all over my eyelid. I'm also going to bring that shade onto my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer highlight just to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm just going to use a large fluffy brush just to blend everything through. Make sure that there are no harsh lines. And for my eyeliner today, I'll be using my Bare Minerals Cream Eyeliner. I'll be putting this on my top lash line and smudging it out, making it like a really dark, grungy kind of look. And to smudge it out, I'll be using the little smudge part of the Brown Bare Minerals Eyeliner. And thanks to one of my subscribers, I think her name was Mandy. She actually explained to me that this little part that comes out is actually a sharpener for the eyeliner, which I think is so great. I can't believe like how smart that is. I was so stupid. I didn't even think that it was actually like part of the product. I thought it was like just broken. But thank you so much, Mandy, for letting me know that. So I'm just going to use the smudgy part now just to smudge out the black eyeliner. You could also just use a black eyeshadow for this and put it on your lash line. Now I'm also going to take a short shader brush and use that dark shade as well just to push that into my lash line. This will just help make sure that there are no harsh lines with that black liner. And to finish the eyes off, I'm just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So I also put on some false lashes just to complete the look. Now onto the face. I'm going to use the Bahama Mama bronzer in here. 
I'm just using a tapered face brush. I'm just going to put that around my face where I want to look really bronze. I love the... Um, I love the color of this bronzer. It looks really dirty in the pan, but once you put it on your skin, it just warms up your face so beautifully. If you're somebody that wants to try out some of the Balm products without having to buy everything singularly, I think palettes like this are a really good way to go. I've actually never owned anything from the Balm until now, and honestly, I am so in love. And you get a good amount of products in the palettes like this anyway. So even if you're like not sure on something, it's really good to just keep trying it out and see how you really feel about it before you spend the money on the full size one. Sorry if my lighting looks a bit intense today. I'm trying some different settings on my camera just to play around a bit more because it's been really, really rainy the last couple of times I've filmed, so it's been really dark. So I'm trying to see how to make my images a bit more brighter. At the moment, I've got it on the AV setting, and I left the brightness, but I changed a couple of things. I can't remember what it was, but I just wanted the image to be a bit more brighter. I think with the AV setting, it lets you control the depth of field a bit more, so your lighting is more focused, like in a shorter view. If you know what I mean. I don't even know if that's right. I'm just guessing that's how it works. Looking at it on my computer, it definitely does look a little bit brighter. I just don't want the colors to change. Like, I don't want things to not be true to color because obviously I want to show you guys how things look. So far, I think it looks okay. It's like a tiny bit too bright for my liking, but hopefully I can change that um, once I play around with it a bit more. Let me know what you guys think if you think that my video today is a lot better than my other videos. On my cheeks, I'm going to use the Instain really light pink one just because my eyes are so dark. I need that bright flush of color on my face. So I'm just going to use a large powder brush just to put that on my cheeks. I'm really, really loving these new dress up brushes that I bought. Like, they're just so soft and make everything so much more easier to apply. And then onto highlighting my cheeks, I'm going to use the Mary Luminize highlight. And I'm just using a tapered highlighter brush to do that. Now with my highlight, I'm actually creating kind of like a C, connecting it to where I put the highlight on my brow bone. But I'm going to blend this part out so it doesn't look so intense. I just wanted to connect the two areas together. I'm also going to put some of that highlight on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. For my lips, I'm going to use this caramel shade in the How's About Them Apples palette. I actually saw this palette when I was there, but I didn't, I don't know, it didn't tickle my fancy. These two cream colors can actually be used on your cheeks as well. They are super, super glossy. And that is the first finished look, just a super fresh spring base, cheeks, lips, and a really dark smoky eye, just using that one shade of color on my lids and just a transition shade. I think this is a very wearable look and one of many that can be created using this palette. So now on to the next look. So for the second look, I'm going to be using this olive green shade. I don't know how yet. So what I'm actually going to do this time is work from the inner corners of my eyes outwards. I usually start off with my crease and then apply my lid color and highlight in the inner corners of my eyes. But I'm going to start off by putting the highlight on the inner corners first and work my way outwards just because I want to see the way that the green and the highlight shade kind of like interact with each other and what kind of a color it creates. So I'm just applying that highlight shade again on the inner corners of my eyes. I left the base from the previous makeup look on just because I think that it's a really neutral kind of base so it's not really going to affect the whole makeup look. I think it's something that can be like really universal and it's a lot of different makeup looks anyway. Now I'm actually going to run this highlight shade just on the very, very, very lowest part of my eyelid. Now 
Now the reason for that is because now when I put the green eyeshadow on my eyelid, it won't be too dark green. It will actually give me two different shades of green now. So I'll have the lighter part where I put the highlight shade and then I'll build up the color a bit more towards my crease. This is such a beautiful color. And now I'm just gonna blend it all through. So you can see that the part where the highlight was on stayed really, really light and I've just built up that green a little bit more in my crease. What I'm actually going to do is sandwich this part of my eye, which means that I'm just going to keep the highlighted shade in the middle and I'm going to build up the green here and here, hence the term sandwich. And again, just blending that all out. Now because we didn't use a transition shade, it might take a little bit longer just to blend everything out. The reason why I didn't want to put that, that brown transition shade is because I didn't want it to affect the colour of the green. Now I'm just going to use my finger just to add a little bit more of that highlight shade in the middle. And that's just going to give it a really nice effect. So I've also just added that highlight shade just along my bottom lash line. Not too intense, but just as a little bit of a highlight. Because now I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals Black Eyeline to align my waterline. And then I'm also going to use a liquid eyeliner to do a winged look on top of my lash line. When you have eyeliner on your waterline, I find that it's really important to do your bottom lashes in mascara just because it softens the look a bit more and just connects it. But if you're someone like me that hardly has any bottom lashes, it still does make that tiny bit of a difference just to put mascara on them. So that is the finished look, just a super simple bright olive green look. I think that adding that highlight shade really helped the look come along, it kept it really fresh and bright and simple. I love the way it turned out. I think this is a really wearable eye look for anybody with any skin complexion. Anyways, I hope you guys like this 2-in-1 makeup tutorial using the In The Balm Of Your Hand palette by The Balm. If you did, please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.